Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Welcome to the Mighty Circus. You might have done some math here before, but we still have all of the daring tricks and incredible animals waiting for you to return. There's delicious food, whimsical characters, and subtraction problems, of course. Hey, you never know what to expect at a circus. On weekends, the circus sells tickets for $28 each. On weekdays, it's less busy, so the circus sells tickets for $5 less. How much does a weekday ticket cost? Well, I see the word less, so this is probably a subtraction problem. Let's check to make sure that makes sense. We know how much tickets are for the circus on weekends. And we want to find out how much tickets cost on the weekdays, which is less expensive. So yes, subtraction makes sense. Okay, let's write the number sentence. Great, but there is another way we can write the equation by lining up our numbers based on place value. You know, like the ones place, tens place, hundreds place. Let's take a look. Here, we wrote the equation so one number is on top of the other. And this lets us line up the numbers by place value. For example, the 8 and the 5 are all in the same column because they are both in the ones place. Right now our numbers are pretty small, but as they get bigger, this rule will help us stay organized. And this also makes it easier for us to subtract. Instead of thinking about all of 28 minus 5, we can just start by subtracting the ones place. 8 minus 5. 8 minus 5 is 3, so put that in the ones place. Next, we look at the tens place. Now there's just a 2 in the tens place with nothing to subtract from it. So we put a 2 in the tens place. And great job! You just subtracted 5 from 28 using place value. 28 minus 5 is 23. Weekday tickets to the circus are $23. Whoa! Look at this trapeze artist flying through the air! So far, the trapeze artist has completed 45 tricks, and that's 14 more than she completed last year. How many tricks did the trapeze artist complete last year? Well, let's see. We can see the word more, which often is a clue to add, but let's double check what exactly is going on in this problem. The trapeze artist completed 45 tricks, which is more than last year. So she actually completed 14 fewer tricks last year, and to find that number, we're actually going to need to subtract. Good thing we looked back at the problem. Now let's write down the equation. When subtracting, we always start with the ones place. So first, subtract 5 minus 4, and that's 1. So you can put a 1 in the ones place. Now look at the tens place. Subtract 4 minus 1 and that's 3. Put a 3 in the tens place. And there we have it. 45 minus 14 is 31. The trapeze artist only completed 31 tricks last year. Which, I have to admit, is 31 more tricks than I completed last year. Sometimes, especially as the numbers get bigger, it's helpful to double check our work. And we can do that by using an addition equation. Since we found 45 minus 14 equals 31, then if we add 14 and 31, we should get 45. Let's try. Just like with subtraction, first we're going to add up the ones column. So 4 plus 1 is 5. We put a 5 in the ones place. Now the tens column. 1 plus 3 is 4. And we put a 4 in the tens place. And we have arrived at 45. Great. We now know that our subtraction work was correct. Well done. If you want to make sure your answer is correct, or you think you might have made a mistake, you can always add to check your subtraction work. And what do we have here? The high diver is attempting to dive into a tiny, tiny pool from a height of 87 feet. Now, his last dive was only from a height of 64 feet. How much higher is his current dive from his last one? The question asks how much higher, so this is a comparison problem. Subtraction again. Now, let's set up the equation. First, you need to subtract the ones. 
So find 7 minus 4, and it's 3. That's right, put a 3 in the 1's place. Next up is the 10's place. So subtract 8 minus 6, and that leaves us with two 10's. So put a 2 in the 10's place. That means our answer is 23. 87 minus 64 is 23. So this dive is 23 feet higher than the high diver's last jump. Wow, he's really daring. Great work today. You subtracted two digit numbers using place value. You carefully lined up your numbers so that the numbers in each place value spot were in the same column. You first subtracted the ones and then the tens. Finally, you learned that you can double check your answer using addition. I'm gonna go watch this dive. You have a mighty great day.